Welcome to the Capitalized Life YouTube channel. I'm Matthew Johnson, president and owner of Johnson Wealth and Income Management. I do hope you enjoy today's video. Thanks for clicking on today's video. Today we want to be talking about stress. Stress in the workplace and stress in your retirement. Stress is a term that's becoming more and more prevalent. It's exacerbating itself and it's getting worse and worse. As a employer and also as an employee that has worked as an employee for many years with many different bosses, I can tell you that stress is just a part of life. You know, people complain about stress in their life, but the reality is, is that stress has always been there. If you think about your ancestors, well, they were going out hunting and it was feast or famine. There was stress in getting that deer, in getting that rabbit, in feeding their family. There was always stress. Stress of the danger of being injured or being killed. Stress has always been around. Stress is a part of human nature. But when stress is rearing its ugly head within the business or within the employer relationship that you're working with, those stresses can come from several different areas. The first and the most obvious is, well, my boss is a complete jerk. Well, it's possible. But is he really a jerk? Is she really a jerk? Are they a jerk constantly, 24 hours a day, five days a week? Or are they simply just having a one-off day where they're a little bit annoyed? Are they having stress in their life because you're not doing your job? Are they having stress in their life because other people aren't doing their job? You have to cut them a little bit of slack and understand that they have multiple responsibilities and they're typically answering to many people that are in much higher positions than themselves, like the customer. The second stress can, can, that can come into our life as an employee is the stress that we create for ourselves because we remain unorganized and we fail to prioritize. One of the things that I learned many years ago that has been helpful to me is the four different ways in which I can prioritize certain things that I've got to do in my life or in my business. That's urgent, important. Important, not urgent. Not urgent, important. And not important, not urgent. Now, if you get one of those items, Trust me, that can sit off to the side because it is not important and it's not urgent. So don't major in the minor, as one of my good friends would tell me. If you have something in your life that is urgent and important, that needs to go to the top of your list. The next thing that I see that creates stress within people's lives, within a business or within their workplace, is the fact that simply, well, they involve themselves in other people's business. You've seen it, and maybe you're one of them. You suffer from that chronic, that, that chronic desire to be the yes person, to do everything, right? You step in not only doing your work, but everybody else's work. The reality is this, that sometimes we create our own stress because we take on for ourselves more things, more responsibilities than what we actually need to things that are actually not our responsibility. Now, of course, we all know those employees that say, well, I'm not going to do that because, well, that's not my job. I don't get paid to do that. I get it. But be careful that you're handling your domain, you're doing your thing before you start helping other people. Now, when it comes to stress within your retirement, gentlemen, I'm going to talk specifically to you. You see, oftentimes, within the realm of retirement, it is the gentleman that is the main breadwinner. It is the gentleman that has been the one that has been putting all the money into the 401k, putting money into retirement, setting money aside. But one of the greatest stresses that you can have is the fact that you carry to the grave all of the retirement knowledge, all of the information concerning what you have set aside for your spouse for your retirement. Yesterday I had a reminder of this. A lady had come in to see me with her husband. 
and her husband had been a very successful business owner. And this gentleman had been diagnosed as having, well, it was cognitive impairment. He wasn't an old gentleman. But this woman was completely beside herself because her husband had done all of the investing. He had done all of the work of setting money aside. And unfortunately, he was already to the point where he was forgetful of what he was doing. And she was having to take over. She had never been a part of the financial picture of the family. She had never participated in the conversations with the financial advisor. And her learning curve? Well, it wasn't a learning curve. Her learning curve was very steep. It was nearly straight up and down. And she realized that she had to gather herself. She had to basically buck it up and try to learn all of this Greek language. So if I can encourage you as a gentleman, remember that your counterpart is likely to outlive you. Ladies, please remember that even though I know that this may not be your bag, this may not be the thing that you really like to do, it is so very important because you are likely to outlive your husband. And in this case, you're going to need to know what you have, how it works, and what the benefits and the drawbacks may be of what you're doing for retirement. Last but not least, it was a very poignant reminder as to why so many people choose to hire a financial advisor. That financial advisor serves as the person that is kind of like the coaching coordinator. Those players can come to the coaching coordinator and as the financial advisor, I can help remind, I can help spot potential red flags. I can help to be able to find out what's going on, what needs need to be met, and then come up with a plan or some action that we need to take in order to solve that problem within that person's life. So please remember that much of the stress that we have in our life, it's self-imposed. It's self-created. And we don't do it intentionally. We do it by default. But there's so many stressors that we can eliminate from our lives if we just think creatively, am I doing too much or am I not doing enough? Well, today I want to encourage you, if you are in that position where you have a spouse, you've been married, and you haven't really involved them in that financial discussion, please do that today. We're coming up on a brand new year. It's an opportunity for you to be able to make the right step and create a new direction for 2020. And remember, it's up to you to make it a great day.